I got the holy grail of the uh, WCW uh, San Francisco toy makers line uh, Luger I'm, I'm pretty happy with this purchase I just got this and uh, I, I like this figure and, and I do like these figures. I mean, a lot of people don't. They're not really into these. Everyone's really into the LJN. And, of course, I have the LJN figures. But um, I, I like these uh, San Francisco uh, figures from 94. I think they made these 94 through 98. And then they came out with some others in 98. That I'm, I'm not crazy about those. I don't, buy, I don't collect those. But I collect these. And I was really happy to get this one. This one's a hard one to get. So... Uh, I think that's a really good depiction of, of Luger. I mean, I think it's, that's the way he, you know, that's very, very, very accurate to his WCW. Uh, um, I don't think he did wear these. I, I don't remember him wearing that around his, uh, around his uh, biceps, but, uh, well, you know. I think, it, you know, he always had the black tights, and, and uh, when he first came in in 87, you know, that's what uh, well he did wear different colors but but then I guess he he mainly stuck to the black tights but he did sometimes wear different color tights but uh, this is a darn good uh, depiction I'm glad with this purchase and uh, you know I think Luger Luger was one of the uh, people I say how oh, oh he wasn't a very good worker well I mean he was a really good worker outside the ring because he was one of the first guys to uh, ever get a guaranteed contract with, uh, you know, before most of the guys would get guaranteed contracts. He got a guaranteed contract in the, in the, uh, with Jim Crockett. So I guess the story goes is that he met Vince McMahon. Him and some of the NWA guys went to a gym in Las Vegas, and they met McMahon in this gym. And Luger had a, about a 10-minute conversation with Vince McMahon, and all the other guys went back to... Dusty and and told Dusty that uh, yeah he's talking to Vince and I guess then Dusty went to Crockett and then Crockett went to Luger and they wanted to they gave him a guaranteed contract and that was in '87 so I and I remember when he first came in my brother and I we rarely would miss uh, WTBS 605 when Luger first came in I mean they they gave him a huge push in uh, down in Atlanta. And I always liked Lex Luger. I even liked that time <clears throat> when Luger was the champ during in in uh, 90, 91. Yeah, 91. That was when he, he got the belt at uh, Great American Bash 91, which was an absolute crappy pay-per-view. I mean, that was one of the worst pay-per-views WCW ever put on. Uh, that one or possibly... Uh, Halloween Havoc 91. Halloween Havoc 91, the real highlight was the Halloween Phantom. Rick Root, I thought that angle was extremely cool, really hot. Um, but the Bash 91 was, you know, it was quite a joke. But but when Luger, you know, when they got going in that, that title reign with Luger, I thought I thought there was a lot of good stuff done there. I loved, you know, Harley Race being his manager and then Mr. Hughes being the bodyguard, and you know, and he, I thought he played that role pretty good, and uh, you know, but I guess he he wanted to go on at that time. That's why they eventually put the belt on Sting then. But um, yeah, I think Luger's. A, uh, I think I, I always I still like to watch Luger. I follow him on Twitter, and I'm really happy to see the way his life. I mean, I I don't not happy that he's got. It. He's paralyzed. That's sad, really, that part of it. But I'm glad he's he's really come, you know, he's at peace with God. And every morning, you know, he posts on Twitter uh, something to the effect, this is another day the Lord has gave. And, you know, and, and he's a very grateful person now. So, you know, glad that he is uh, at peace with God in his life. But I, I think this is one of the... the best figures of that toy line so it is kind of the holy grail of that toy line because he's hard to get i'm glad I, I finally was able to get him so well youtube is starting to not uh, allow a lot of things to be posted uh 
you know, I, maybe it's WWE coming in, and I, I'm guessing that's. I guess I haven't looked at the, I can look at the copyright things. Um, so I, I don't know if I'm going to post a lot of stuff. They seem to always let me post all the AWA uh, videos. Maybe it's because WWE needs some of those videos. Because <laughs> I think that's what they, WWE does. And I think that they just... I was looking at some uh, stuff on Peacock today from, w, from WCW 1989. And I can't remember what date it was. But I know that they pulled that off of... Uh, something I'd posted, you know, years back because it has this, it had the same, uh, fuzzy line on the, uh, you know, it was, I, I, you know, I, I just wonder if these guys, if, if WWE actually has that, uh, that footage, did they, what footage did they ever get from, from uh, WCW when they purchased it? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of think that they're just grabbing stuff off the internet and then they, uh, you know, they, make the video a little more presentable with their high-tech equipment and then they put it on their their uh, their page so I, I mean I, you know I don't hell I don't know but uh, it, it seems to me that that's what WWE does so uh, but anyway I'm not getting a lot of uh, they're not allowing me to to um, put a lot of stuff up besides certain things like it seems to be like, uh, oh, you know, AWA stuff and then uh, offshoot WCW shows. I mean, if you, you can't seem to be putting up Saturday night. They just took a, a WWE prime time of mine down. Um, so, I, you know, I don't know. Who, who knows how long my channel will last? You know, I mean, I've done this, you know, I think this is my fourth channel. You know, uh, uh, I done it under Rassel Real twice, and one time I did it under Mark Green, and I can't remember what I did it. I think I did a fourth one, and I can't remember the name I did it. But there, you know, I, I'm just 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 letting everybody know that uh, you know, if you don't see me soon, uh, don't be surprised, because I mean this is the way YouTube is. You know, um, I don't make any money off of these things. That's the way I understand the law. As long as you're just presenting it and you're not making any money off of uh, the videos you're putting out there you should have uh, you're, you're okay by the law that's the way I understand that law um, it's strictly for in a sense educational purposes right that's the that's the uh, law but uh, uh, you know YouTube is YouTube is YouTube so so if they shut my channel down soon don't be surprised